Pyrex is the kind of cookware that makes you nostalgic for another time. Maybe because it was the first glass bakeware, memories of casseroles gone by have made the Pyrex bake dish one hot collectible. Part of the reason there's nostalgia around these products is we have so much wonderful associations with them. And there's a lot of emotional connection and social connection with friends and family and so forth. It seems to be iconic. It's something that they grew up with. And I think that that three-quart you know, shape really resonates with consumers because it's so versatile. It can be used in so many different ways in the kitchen. There's a timeless elegance to the design that makes this bakeware look just as good today as it did decades ago. Our products are not particularly stylized, but they have a style in themselves that's very simple and timeless so that you don't have to uh, next year go buy a new one because it's following some trend. Most glass can't tolerate rapid changes in temperature. The unique recipe for Pyrex glass means it can take the heat. The notion that you can use glass to cook was a big innovation. But what's wonderful about glass is it's a very it's an inert material, it's clear, it's high temperature. Trust me, the temperatures that we make Pyrex in are well above, you know, uh, what you bake in your oven. They've recently redesigned an old standby. Their glass three-quart casserole dish, first introduced in 1915, has now been reborn as part of a new line called Easy Grab. The feedback that we were getting from consumers was with the handleability of the piece, so we introduced the holes in the handle. People were being very careful when they handled their, their bakeware, and even more importantly when they're washing it. And that's a time when people really wanted to have more secure grip on this. As we do design work, we'll make early models and we'll explore different shapes that we think tie in with that. And we'll do consumer research on not only how well the product works, but what they think of it visually and the degree to which that fits in with Pyrex. Getting this edge in here and in here, right? And the glass it's important to come around yeah. and, and yeah. fill here. Yeah. And so you need to be able to you know, clearly get your fingers in and out so right. how it feels there is going to be important. The potential for cooking with glass was discovered in 1913 by a curious physicist named Dr. Jesse Littleton at Corning Glassworks. The company had already developed heat-proof glass to contain batteries. And one day, Littleton brought a battery jar home, sawed off the top, and asked his wife to bake a cake in it. And she tried that in her baking and it worked wonderfully. And so born from that was the use of and the notion of glass as a baking material. Mrs. Littleton noticed that the cooking time was shorter, the cake didn't stick, and she could watch it as it baked. So it was due to her perfectly baked cake that Pyrex was launched. And in 1915, the company started mass producing glass bakeware. Here in Charleroi, Pennsylvania, it starts in the mix house, where they carefully weigh out the ingredients. Sand is by far the biggest component, providing the silica needed to make glass. Other ingredients include limestone and soda ash. By far the hardest part is heating and breaking apart the uh, silica. It's a, you know, a very hard structure. Dealing with those temperatures is by far the hardest part of melting the glass. We get up to about 1350 degrees C, we gradually raise that temperature of glass throughout the furnace to, to melt all the raw materials. Once melted to a red hot liquid, gobs of molten glass fall down a chute where they land straight into the presses. And we press everything that we make. So we have 16 molds on a press. The hot glass will fall into that mold. We press it into the shape of that mold. The plunger is just going up and down continually and the plunger forces the glass into the shape of the mold. The biggest challenge that we had to overcome in the manufacture of the Easy Grab bakeware was the hole in the handle. So we had to refine our type equipment and our tooling and, and do many trials to make sure that we could make that hole in the handle to the high quality standards that uh, Pyrex has. The solid pieces are removed from the press by a vacuum powered arm. They're placed on what's called a glazer to be polished by fire. It rotates on the glazer underneath a series of overhead burners. Those burners are putting a nice, soft, uh, smooth polish on all the rims. Because with that mold ring plunger interface, we end up with a lot of sharp edges. So we're just smoothing all those sharp edges over. The bake dishes are then loaded into a heat strengthening kiln. And the purpose of that kiln is it, it gradually heats the piece up again, uh, fairly close to its softening point to remove all the internal stresses. And then we cool it off very quickly to instill in the glass those heat strengthening properties. Finally, the glass is cooled to room temperature, so 
so it can be handled for one final inspection before packing and shipping. Destined to become the main dish in kitchens the world over. It's very durable. The consumer doesn't have to worry about handling it with kid gloves. And it's a nice, clear product. I mean, it looks good on your shelf. When those of us who've worked on these products see them being used by people in their home, there's, there's nothing more proud. At the end, we're really trying to make a difference in people's lives and have them be a little bit more successful when they're cooking, a little bit happier when they're in their kitchen and working with food.